Custom was asking me, where are you going? To be sincere, I don't even know. Because you, you know, you cross all manner of, 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 of not really but at time zones. You lose some, you gain some. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but we want to bless the name of the Lord for that. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate your pastor. He is a man of faith. Yes, I have to say this. Is a man of it because I wasn't supposed to be here. And the way God did it, I don't know. I don't even understand. I'm serious. And tonight I am standing only because he made a way. I'm serious. He, he, we got to a time, it was just fitting it. And somebody, brother... Roya was trying to, we are expecting you. I said, okay, you are expecting me. Will you send the ticket? We are expecting. I said, even your pastor is believing God that you will come. I said, okay. But look at me today. I'm here. And um, the reason why I'm here is because I believe God has you in mind. And the man of God that came, in fact, we have concluded he's going to take it. And the pastor, Femi Lassis, is going to take everything. We already discussed about that. And um, if I'm going to come, I'll, I just want to sit down and just, just be part of it. I don't want to minister. But when he said he's, I'm, going to, I, I'm going to minister, I just have to do that. And God, in his infinite mercy, will give us grace in the name of Jesus Pastor Rajev, God bless you. Will you put Rajesh? Come on, put your hands together for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Can you turn to your neighbor and shake your neighbor very well? Shake your neighbor. <laughs> okay. I saw two kind of shaking. Body shaking and hand shaking. All right, whichever one. Now, I want you to... Do and shake it now. <laughs> and tell your neighbor, say, my neighbor, my neighbor. you're privileged you. sitting beside me tonight. Because concerning me, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered into the heart of men. What the Lord has in stock for me. And tell your neighbor, say, my neighbor, my neighbor. Treat me right tonight. Because any moment from now, if you have opportunity to sit beside me or meet me, you may need to feel it from. Come on, put your hands together for your neighbor. Hallelujah. Because you see, in a church like this is when you sit beside who is who. Because everybody is equal before God. And tonight I am, have come to be a John the Baptist. And by the grace of God, in the next few minutes, you know I can go for two hours. But just give me the time and I will just stop anywhere I get to. But I believe God had given me what your pastor preached some part of it. So I 
don't need to go through it. So I will just quickly go to that which God has, uh, 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 has laid in my heart to do tonight in the name of Jesus. Now I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Can you close your eyes and say, God, breathe upon me. Open the flood gate of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the flood gate of heaven. Can you make it a prayer and sing it? And say, God, let it rain on me. Let it rain. Yeah. Holy Spirit, we ask of you. Let your power rain upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. We ask for your glory. We ask for your unction. We ask for your anointing. Let your power, let your grace come upon us in the name of Jesus. Kerato seti anda dapat harus sekarang terlebih hati. Ran de 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 bos soti ala la balu lo bos keri ala la batu soti an dega dega lo bos hata. Let it rain, let it rain. Open the flood gate of heaven. Lord, let it rain. Let it rain now. Holy Spirit, we depend on you. We have no power of our own. We rely absolutely and totally on you. We ask, oh God, that you fill this temple, Lord. Open our eyes and understanding to be able to see wondrous things out of your law. Let us see you. Let us know you. Let us behold your face in glory. Let us have a contact and intimate with you, O oh God, so that our life will be preserved, O oh God. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, O oh God. We worship and bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. Come on, say better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise the Lord. The man on the keyboard, you are going to follow me, please. And I want you to be in the spirit. I will be teaching. And so that the Lord will just continue from that place. I brought you greetings from my family um, back in Nigeria. My wife was... So excited, she said, why can't you go? Please go. And she was one of the encouragers. And when, she, you know, there are some journeys that you want to embark on that, that will be very, very difficult and troubling. And when Paul was trying to tell about his account, how he was faced with shipwreck and all manner of things, I was telling Pastor Lassisi when we were, when we got here, I say, through thick and thin, we sailed through. I mean, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. But we thank God we are here. And, and I want to appreciate her, my, my two sons and um, daughter. I have only one daughter. One is 21, and that is Favor. Favor is 20. My marriage is 22. Yeah, Favor is 20. It will be 21 this year. And Bolutife Marvelous is um, 18 and will be 19. And, and this is how we got a name. And God gave me a wife. And you know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it said, He that finded a wife, finded a good thing, and obtained favor, favor. Yes, and it was so good in our sight, and it was marvelous. <laughs> so that's how we got to name. And the other one, God just had it to us. And it's just 13. And that is David. And David is so loving. 
that he was the one that was packing all the things. He said, Dad, I'm with you, and we're just doing all those things. Will you please put your hands together for them? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Fasting your seat belt as we take off. Can we open our Bible, please, to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, and I read verse 18. I will not go through the route that your pastor went through because he has really, really done some sudden things. I don't know, whenever I want to preach, he's always in spirit with me. He, he, he was quoting my scripture. I said, what, what else do I want to preach? <laughs> the book of Ephesians, chapter 18. He said that our eyes of understanding, being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is and what the breaches of the glory of his inheritance in who? In me. Because you are a saint. Now you became a saint not ordinarily. Because of what pastor just preached. And I don't want to go through that route. Because Jesus came. Because he of all, all things. By the power of his word. And you know what? The sacrifice of bull and animal. Cannot obtain what the sacrifice of the son of God can do for us. It takes a God to come and die for God's. If he's man, man can die for man. Now, if he's a man, a man can die, a life for a life. But when it comes to general, it takes the life of a God to go. And that is the reason why God sent his son. And when he finished, look at what he said. Finished his race, he said, all hail, all power. No more power. All Power in heaven and earth is what? Now, that is the inheritance we have in Jesus. Do you understand? If you don't get it, that's what the pastor is trying to say. He is talking about the, the sacrifice and the things, everything about, about Jesus is in the Bible from generation to revolution. I mean, Genesis to revelation. Now we're going to, and from, from Genesis, you see the progressive revelation of God, even to the end of the Bible. In other words, you see him in Genesis, you see him in Exodus, you see him in Numbers, you see him in every. <sighs> now, I don't want to go through that route. Now, he came and he died for us. Now, devil thought he was doing God harm. But he never knew that he was setting us up. <laughs> Bible says in the book of course, Corinthians chapter um, 2 verse 9, he, if he had known, he would have not crucified the Lord. If he had known, he would not have allowed you to go through what you went through. If he had known, he would not allow you to come out of, you know, there are some people, they, they, they tell them they are unwanted child. If he had known. Well, you know, Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28, he said, for we know, but he does not know. <laughs> Hallelujah. How do we know? Through the revelation of Jesus Christ. The son of God. You understand? You understand? Now, you see, Jesus Christ came and he came. And when Jesus spoke, he said, I am what? He just said it. The way, the truth, and what? The life. Now, listen. When the truth talks, it talks in the language of light. That is why the Bible says in this place, that your eyes of understanding may be enlightened. John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was. And the same was in the beginning. 
All things were made by him. Without him was nothing that was made. He said, in him was what? And what? And the light of what? Which means when you receive him, you don't have any excuse not to walk in light. When you have light, you don't walk in darkness. Hello? And that is the thing that Jesus Christ came to do to us and for us. That so that you will know that which is the riches of inheritance that you have in him. I may not have millions in my account, but I have an inheritance in God. Hello? Let's go. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, us who believe according to what? According to what? The working of his, which means when I walk, I don't walk alone. Somebody say, how are you going to make it? You, just, you need to rest for one hour. I say, I don't need any one hour. His grace is sufficient in my weakness. When you rely on him, it's not you. It's about him. You understand? That is why I love that song. Just breathe upon me. Praise the Lord. I may not be able to dissect everything, but I pray Holy Spirit will teach you. And the pastor, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Which he wrought in who? In Christ. You understand? In Christ. When he does what? Raised him from the dead. And he did not sit. He set. Hello? That is one thing for you to sit. That is another thing to, for you to. We set this lamp so that it can shine light. You set. A city that is set upon a hill, or the hill cannot, you can't, they can't hide you because you bear the light. Now, sometimes we look at it as light as opposite of darkness. No. Ah, no. When light decides to shine, darkness keeps quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. Set him at his own right hand. In what? Heavenly places. Look at the last verse and I go. He said, far what? Above all. He didn't say some. Or in your Bible, did he say some? All principality, which makes me a principality. Hello? When, when, when the, the, the flight yesterday was canceled and we, they were saying languages that we don't understand. And um, they were like, okay, we are going to reschedule your flight. And immediately the guy rescheduled our flight. Phew, he got an alert. And the one lady came, he said, no, 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 no. And that was how she canceled our flight. And he said, nine o'clock by this time. In fact, we should begin to wait for another one hour before we, before we set on this journey. But he, he told me, he said, there must be something. I, I, I looked at him. I kept quiet. Everybody went, went. In the morning, as early as 5 o'clock, I said, oh boy, let's go and meet this guy. And we met her. She scheduled another flight for us that is going to be exactly, exact time for this meeting. Ah, somebody is here. I don't know. This meeting may not be for everybody. But please don't miss it. Please don't miss it. And I want you to be ready to soak as much as possible. Look. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. For above principalities and power and might and dominion and every, not some name. Every name, not only in this world, which means your power is not limited to this world. Not only in this world. Why? Through Jesus. 
But also in what? In that which is to come. Now, if you don't have Jesus, listen very carefully, you are missing a lot. Lord, we ask that you breathe upon us. Help us to be able to understand your word. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me quickly try and say some few things and I drop the microphone. The first thing I want to tell you today is that God delights in blessing his people. God is a blesser. In other words, for title's sake, let, him, let me just title it as ex, experiencing his power. You know, we are, we are in the, the grace conference is power. Experiencing his power. So the first thing I want to tell you is that the nature of God is to bless mankind. Is to bless humanity. God is a blesser. Amen. In other words, uh, you see a man by the thing he does. The Bible says in the book of John, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. He said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness let them have dominion. In verse 8. And God blessed them. After making them. after he, Now listen, you are privileged among all the creature. Why? Because God only called man. Now angels has power. But they are not as powerful as we are. And some people still worship angel, but you don't need to worship angel. Why? Because angel are what celestial being. We are terrestrial and celestial being. According to the power of the most high God. Why? Because God made us from the earth and bred into us is life. Now listen very carefully. When angels were made, they never had the, they never had the breath of life. Which makes me make me more powerful. And that is the reason why the scripture that we read, he said, far above principalities and power. Which means I have hedge. Angels should run at my command. Demons should flee at my words. When the Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 20, um, is it 12 now? John want as many as receive him, give. You, when, when, when you receive something, you receive him. When you receive him, you receive power. As many as receive him, give him power to become. Which means the same power ex, uh, 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 exhausts you. The same power that works in Christ Jesus, the same power works in you. Which means you are not inferior being. You are, you are held of salvation as Christ Jesus. In other words, when he is set, you are set. Hello? In other words, you are not inferior to Christ. Bible says in Romans 8 verse 11, If the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, with that same spirit, he shall also quicken your mortal body. Listen very carefully. The same spirit, not, not any other spirit. The same spirit. The same spirit. Wow, well, not sometimes we look at ourselves as because we because of our, our background, we felt maybe we are inferior. No, when it comes to the kingdom of God, He made us equal, He brought the same breath into us, and that was the reason why the devil is afraid. It does not want you to know this revelation, it does not want you to see this because if you can see this, listen very carefully, devil is no match for you. I'm just telling you, you are too much for the devil. Now, you know what? If I want to fight a man, Roya, come here. If I want to fight him, and I know I can beat him, I will call him up and say, Oga, be ready. But if I can't fight him, I will use some other means to fight him. I will make him to fight shadow. And begin to backbite him. And begin to finish him at the back. Why? Because I can't confront him. It's too much for me. Therefore, I can't confront him. They, they, I don't know how to say it. I want to say pigeon. They never <laughs> burn that devil well. May he call you, come, say, 
Come fight. In other words, the devil that will challenge you to come and fight physically has no, it's never existed. Why? Because God has given us power over him. Thank you, go and sit down. And that is the reason why he deceives. He makes you to face, to, 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 to chase shadows instead of, and they will not say, the devil, the devil, the devil. Excuse me, sirs and ma, can I talk to you tonight? Listen, if he has power, let him come and challenge. Anthony Joshua came and challenged somebody. They were in the ring. Come on. Hello? But the devil, they never born away. So God delights in giving and blessing us. That is what I'm trying to say. Amen. I've been expecting you, my keyboardist. Amen. <laughs> James 1, 17. He said, he said, he said in that place that, that every good and he, he delights in blessing you. Every good and now it's not ordinary blessing. Every good, every good, anything that is good, every perfect gift, every perfect gift come down from who? If a man blesses you, he will bless you according to his power. He will bless you according to his riches. But if God blesses you, he can bless you like a man. He will bless you. Bible says, verse 10, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered into the earth of men. What the Lord, oh my God, if you know the riches that you have in the spiritual realm, you will not sit down and begin to look at me like that. Because you are too much. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, I am too much. Look at your neighbor, say, I am more than what I could see. I may be small. Hey, Bible say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The book may say, I have failed. But in the program of God, I am not a failure. It's just a temporary setback. That challenge came not because I am not powerful. It's just a temporary setback. Amen. Because a time is coming that things will now change. Amen. Every gift. So God delights in blessing man. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man. I love Amplify. Happy, fortunate, enviable is the man. He said fortunate, enviable, happy is the man. In other words, when they say you are blessed, it means you are enviable. It means you are happy. It means you are fortunate. Ah, some of us, we look at some cars, we feel, wow, I wish. Don't wish you have more than that. I tell people, it's not the, I don't know if I've said it in this list, it's not the things that ride, that you ride that makes you important. It's you that you made that thing important. If Tommy figure, I don't buy his clothes, he will, he will run out of market. He needs me to wear his clothes. Now, who is more important? Me. Because without me wearing his clothes, he will be on the hanger. Nobody will parade him. But when you put it on, therefore, anything. Have you ever seen a king wearing anything that is not important? If I wear bedroom slippers, even if, if it's not a designer, my wearing it, your wearing it has made it a designer. Hello? Look at Michael Jackson's shoe, shoes. They were auctioning it for how many millions of dollars? Because Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson that does not have the spirit of God. Excuse me, I have the spirit of God. God dwells in me. And I wore a shoe and somebody is saying he's not a... Oh, you're missing it. Look at the price that Christ placed upon you. He said, what is man that thou art ate for? What is man that thou art made? You have to be mindful of somebody. I don't know how many of us, we, have, we are in love in this place. You just enter into love. You know, like. <laughs> Did I say anything? Did I say anything? 
Did you hear anything? No, I didn't see anything. When you just fall in love, you, 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 are, you know, Bible says, what is man? Mindful. What is the meaning of mindful? Break it into two. Mindful. Full of mind. When you sleep, you see. When you want to eat, you think. When, oh my God. It make me jiggy like little way. <laughs> Amen. You are feeling like, come on. <laughs> that is the power that Christ, our God, bestowed upon us. Made us important. When we are yet sinner, Christ died. So it's not anything that you have done. It's not, anything, it's not what your father has done. It's because of us. Number two. Your experience of his power is connected to your expectation. You can never be blessed beyond what you are expecting. Most of the time we expect something to happen. This conference is just started. Some things will happen to you. You don't know that it has happened. Hello? You begin to see some certain things. After this grace conference, they will begin to manifest in your life. I was talking to Pastor Femi. I said, ha, I, I wish I could come for Grace Conference. And I don't want to bother the church to send um, uh, um, tickets and all those stuff. And uh, a church in, in, in Scotland said, we are, we are doing it. I asked him. I said, well, don't do it. Let's, let's wait and see. And eventually, they bought the ticket. Now, it's just a sign you have to come. Now, listen. I don't have the money in my account. Oh, God had it in storehouse. He's in heavenly places. All you need is just to withdraw. Now listen, your expectation can never go beyond the power that God will bless you with. In other words, your, your, what you will experience in your life is connected to your expectation. You can't get beyond. We said you have to see it before you see it or you will not see it. In other words, you have to see it in the spiritual realm before it can come to physical. Do you understand? In other words, you have to have the experience. You know, Bible says in the book of Psalm 78, verse 14, he said, yeah, they tempted God. They turned back and they, they, they turned back and tempted the Holy One of Israel. Now listen, when you doubt God, you don't get his blessing. Oh. One thing I want you to know, know tonight is that your expectation carries a weight if you are going to experience the power of God. Without your expectation, you can. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until you be endued with power. You must tarry. You must expect. You must know that this word will come to pass in my life. But if you don't expect anything, nothing will come. Praise the Lord. But you know what? We Turn back and tempt God in our heart. And I'll tell you something. That we so happy that we doubt God. We doubt his words. And that is the reason why I want to challenge you tonight. Read the word. If you have exams, read the word. Excuse me. This is not, this is not religion. I mean, the Bible says, as we behold. 3.18. As we behold in a glass. With open face, we are changed into the same image. The, Jesus was never a failure. I'm not saying that you should not leave your book and begin to. But I'm telling you that make sure that you make it your food. What am I trying to say? That is where you generate power from. Hello? As much as you look, you begin to look like him. As much as you read, you begin to look like him. You begin to see like him. You begin to smell like him. You begin to hear like him. Listen very carefully. We do not see the power anymore because we don't serve him like we ought to. Hello? I know a, a medical student, I'm not saying that you should go and do this. A medical student was there in those days. He was, he was preaching around, preaching around, preaching around. And the exam is coming. He said, well, 
This is the work of God. And at the end of the day, you didn't read. I didn't say you should not read. Please get me right. Balance. Balance. Can you tell your neighbor? Say balance. <laughs> this guy went and he went and he got to the exam hall and he could not write anything. You must know the story. I shared it in church in those days. And the examiner, and he said he got to the examination hall. He could not write anything. And the Holy Spirit said, copy the question. And he copied the question. Make sure you hear God if you want to do this. <laughs> hear God. Tell your neighbor, say, hear God. Hear God. He now copied the question to the lecturer and submitted. And the lecturer was so mad. And was like, what? Phew, phew. When the, when the man that was going to record it saw it, he thought 77. And he put 77. And that's how he made it. But tell your neighbor, say, yeah, God. God. Now listen, number three, as I begin to tie everything up, your expectation motivates God to bless you. Your expectation makes God's power to be more real in your life. When God is not willing to move, when you expect him to move, he will move. Look at Paul. Paul said, he said, he said, I saw in a, in, in, a, in a dream in the night that this voyage will be with a great loss. But in the night, I saw whom I serve or whom I am. And he said, I perceive. And he told them the revelation that everybody and anybody that left this boat, they are going to die. If they should leave this boat, they are going to die. But you must stay in the boat. How will you lose a boat and still stay alive? But that was the expectation. Perceive. Be in the spirit to be able to perceive. When you expect God to move, God surprise anyone that is expectant. Bible says in the book of Romans, in the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 1, and Bible says Paul and uh, Peter and John, they were walking and into the um, beautiful gate and they saw this great man or blind man, uh, uh, no, lame man. And Bible says he was looking them, expecting to receive something. Is it there? From the womb. He was expecting to receive something. Now listen. Peter never felt anything. But he saw something. Expectation. And he said, look on us. Silver and gold. Now look, look, look at it, the scripture. Silver and gold I have not. Is it there? He fastened his eyes on him. He said, Peter said, silver and gold I have not. But he said, look on us. The previous verse. They were too. Because in case John faith is not on the same level with Peter, he could sabotage this man's miracle. And he said, I have not, but such as I have, give I thee. Expectation. Listen very carefully. When you are expectant, you create an atmosphere of God's power. He said, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can think or him. Now listen, listen unto him that is able. Most of the time we are looking at our father. We are looking at the uh, economic situation. You are looking at your pocket. You are looking at the account. But listen, unto him that is Our problem is our attention. We are expecting from source 
that cannot sustain us. Hebrew 12. He said, is it Hebrew 2? He said, on, he said looking unto 12, 12, 12. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Listen very carefully. Don't look at any man. Don't look at your pulse. Don't look at your brain. Don't look at your power. Don't look at your intelligence. Look unto Jesus. 21, um, 121 verse 1. Sam, he said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from your father. That is where we miss it. We're looking at somebody else. I, I, I'm, oh God, I'm, I'm just introducing. Because I've not started the message. But I'm just telling you some certain things. But when you are expectant, listen very carefully. Listen. Men of God will come, be expectant, ready to soak. Drain these guys so that when they leave this place, they will know that virtue has gone. Jesus said, but who touched me? Uh, Peter said, everybody is pushing. He said, somebody touched me with a purpose. Can you have a purposeful heart and touch? These men, they are loaded. We fasted. We prayed. Just for you to be blessed. Make sure you give a touch of purpose. Because everybody touched. When in the book of John chapter 5, oh God. At a certain season, the angel will come and trouble the water. Come on. Hey, whosoever jumps into it is what? Anybody that jumps after is wet. They are wet. Because somebody jumped with a purpose. The other jumped because they need to jump. So they will be soaked. Uh, listen, low expectation affect God. It affect God. Jesus went to his people. His people did not receive him. He could not do many might. Listen, when you use your cranial cavity, okay, we have <laughs> cranial cavity to be able to, to want to catch and think the way God would think, we limited him. You understand? You can't think God out. You can't, you can't fathom it. I want you to have a... Listen, when you have a low expectation, somebody came to me and said, Pastor, one of the pastors that submitted themselves to me in Nigeria, he said, Pastor, I said, yes. He said, they said, I have kidney something. I can't understand. And he came to me and said, let's go and pray. He said, Pastor, you don't understand. I'm going to die. I said, let's go and pray. I took him, we pray. And we prayed through. I told him, go and check with the doctor. He went to the doctor. Even with his doubt. And the doctor said something. He said, pastor, he said, yes. What you are using, keep using it. Because I don't understand because it's beyond my training and my knowledge. Because when you want to begin to think of how God will make it, you will miss out of it. May you not miss out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, can I shock you? How about the greatest fight you must fight? The greatest fight you have to fight is the battle of your life. And the battle of your life that you have to fight is that... You have to fight doubt. Hello? A doubtful man is unstable in all his way and he will not receive anything. So fight doubt with every blood in your vein. Especially when God spoke the word to you. Fight it with the whole of your being. Don't let the enemy rob you. Listen very carefully. Enemies, the problem of God is not human being. It's not us. It's the devil. Now let's listen very carefully. Devil robs God of what he likes to do. Listen. Devil, God wants to bless us. 
Now, if I like preaching and somebody wants to take my voice or do not want me to preach, you know I will not be happy. God likes blessing us, but the devil wants to rob him of being a blessing to us. And how does he do that? He introduced to us his greatest weapon, doubt. Any great thing that you will ever attempt in your life, doubt will set in. No matter how powerful that thing is. Luke 19. D um, Peter was walking on the water when he saw Jesus. And listen, a professional fisherman, all the days of his life, is walking on the water. Now, water should not suspend him. Look at him walking on the water. The Bible says the devil introduced wind. And the Bible says he saw wind boosterious. I think we feel wind. We don't see. How come he saw wind? Read your Bible. He saw wind. I've never seen wind. What color does wind has? Maybe Peter will have to tell us when we get to heaven. And the Bible says he saw wind. Have you gotten that scripture for me? 19. Mama says he saw wind, boasterous, and he began to sink. Doubt. When, uh, when you are at your peak, devil will introduce some certain things to you. When you exercise that fear, you start drowning. I pray tonight. Anyone under the sound of my voice that the devil is introducing fear to you, I sense somebody feel I will not I will not just live long. I will die young. I come against that spirit tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. You didn't get that. Somebody felt I'm not going to fulfill destiny. I declare over your life tonight. That power is broken. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. He said, if the spirit of him that is Jesus. That is a spirit. Because you know what? God, the greatest pain in the heart of God is when he cannot bless us. Devil knows that. So devil wants to rob God of his pleasure. He takes pleasure in the prosperity of his righteous. I declare over your life tonight. You will make God to rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Right. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. It says, see. I set you over. I set you over nation. Over kingdom. He said with thee. Sometimes we look for a weapon. You had a weapon. Hello somebody. And that is the reason why devil is afraid of you. That is the reason why devil is introducing to you all that things that you are going through. Because you had the weapon. Hello? There is no weapon anywhere. You have, you have, you have. Psalm 127 verse 3. He said, children are in heritage of the Lord. So far you are a child. You have. The heritage of the Lord, the fruit of the womb is his reward. He said, blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. Full of them. He said, there will be one that speak to the enemy at the... You are the weapon. Is it there? He said, but they shall speak with the enemy at the gate. As far as you are a child, you receive him. You are the AK-47 we are looking for. You are the submachine gun that we are looking for. You are the intercontinental ballistic missiles that we are looking for. By the time we launch you out, ah, oh, Pastor Nifesimi was in was in Ugumojo. When we launch him out, twa, he started doing. They that do know their God. Ah. Oh. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, I am the weapon. <laughs> because you, sometimes you are looking for a savior somewhere. You are the savior. 
Amen. You are the people that we are looking for. You are the change that we are talking about. You are. Don't look for anybody anywhere. When something is not working, as long as you are there, let it, it must work. Hello? Because that is why you are there. Because you are, he said, tarry in Jerusalem until you be endued with power, not from below. Ah, ah, I don't know if you have power from above. Amen. Is somebody talking, am I talking to somebody that has power? He said, he said, ah, Peter came out. He said, I am full of power. Excuse me, sir. When you know whom you serve, you know. Listen, the reason why we are walking the way we are walking is because we, are no, we don't know what we are made of. You are a loaded gun going somewhere to explode. A loaded gun. Amen? Thank God for his grace. Jesus did everything for us. He has given us the light. He has given us everything. And that is the reason why you have to trust him. He said, trust the Lord with your heart. Lean on unto your own understanding, Psalm 3. He said, he said in all your ways, six, acknowledge him and he shall direct. Once you acknowledge him, when you lean not onto your own understanding, listen very carefully, things begin to work. The reason why things don't work is because you think you know how to do it. Let him that thinketh is standing. Take it. You are only thinking you are standing. You are only thinking you are what you are not. But when you rely on the power of the Holy Spirit, Churchill says something. He said, I have become like a kite. Every contrary wind blows me higher. When contrary wind comes, when pain comes, when affliction comes, you begin to glide higher. Every contrary wind, not like our airplane. After set on the wrong way for us to take off, the, <laughs> the pilot said, for security reasons, we cannot make this flight. At around how many, what, what time was that? Is it nine or ten in the night? Past 10 in the night. We cannot make this journey anymore. We are turning back. Why? Because of the contrary wind. But when Kite sees contrary wind, he rejoices. Why? I declare over your life tonight. Every contrary power. Every strange thing that wants to pull you down. There will be that same thing that God will use to exalt you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have become an untouchable. You have become something that no man can affect anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy over your life tonight. As you begin to expect good things from God. I declare over your life in the name of Jesus. You begin to see the hand of God working over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's not over yet. Ah, It's not over yet. I say it's not over yet. Some family are going through turbulent period. I am telling you that it's not over yet. Actually, it's just beginning. Why? Because you have the beginning. You know the beginning. Because it began the beginning. Amen. Without him, there is no beginning. Amen. Hey, he is the beginning. Hey, hallelujah. Now, when you have the beginning, you don't fear. Amen. In other words, when you have the beginning, the beginning knows tomorrow. Because we serve a God that declares the hand from the beginning. So when he set you from the beginning, he's waiting for you at the hand. And he's waiting. He knows that you will stay through. He knows that you are going to go through. He knows that you are not going to die along the way. He knows that his power is ready and he's going to sustain you. You are not going to die in that problem. You are not going to die in that situation. God is going to give you that testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, say yes. 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 Sit down. Yes. Oh, time will not permit me. Can I just can I just wrap it up this way? When 
The power of God comes upon your life. You know, Jesus promised. He said, I'm going, but I'm not going to go. I will not leave you comfortless. I will send you a comforter. In other words, I have finished my own race. I have concluded. I have made an auto sacrifice. You don't need any sacrifice anymore. So I invest the power that is upon me upon you. And you begin to walk like me on the face of the earth. And he said, he said, as many as receive him, give them power. To become, in other words, when you walk, you walk like me on the face of the earth. When you act, you act like me on the face of the earth. Now, what happened? The spirit that rests upon Jesus, it released upon us. Act 1 38, at 10 38. If this, he said, he said, he said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth by the Holy Ghost and with power who went about going good. When the power come upon you, it changed your situation. It changed changes your circumstances. In other words, you are full of power. Now listen, if Jesus needs the power, I need the power too. Hello? What power am I talking about? Dunamis. Ketos, Kerebahanda. Dynamite. Dunamos. Hello? Hello somebody. In other words, when the power, if Jesus needed it, he said, Jesus, how God anointed him Jesus, now listen, he didn't say Jesus Christ. This same Jesus. In the Hebrew, he said, we have not an high priest that is not touched by the feelings of our infirmity. He said he was tempted at every point as we are. Yet, he said, that power that is upon him, I'm releasing upon you too. Now, if Jesus was endued with that power, I need that power too. And from tomorrow, you begin to experience that power. Because the men that are going to speak behind me, I just came as John the Baptist to prepare the way for them. So that they will begin to see. Now, listen very carefully. The, the man called Moses was an ordinary man. Before he became, he wanted to save the people. He killed one of them. And they look at him and say, you cannot. He left the place and he went into the bush. And he started tending. Without the power, he would die a shepherd boy. But when God took over his rod, go and read the book of Exodus chapter 3. And he said, drop it. He turned to serpent. Listen very carefully. From that moment, they stopped calling the rod of Moses, rod of Moses. He changed his name. To rod of God. And from that point, he began to act. Why? Power. Peter, before he became, why he became in the book of Acts, Acts 1 8, he said, You shall receive power. No, 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 no. Act 8. He said, It's Act 1 8 8. Can you just project it? He said, He said, He said, You shall be my witness in Judea. You shall receive. He said, you shall, receive, you shall receive what power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Jesus knew that they cannot do the work that I do if there is no power. And that is the reason for this conference. The power is falling upon you. How to experience the power, that is what I'm trying to say. Listen, he said, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, God, has come upon you and you shall be a witness. Listen very carefully. You can never be a witness without the power. Because there are so many power outside there. But you know what? He is the creator of the power. When he came, he said, all heal. All power in heaven and earth. So there is nothing left for them anymore. And he said, I gave the same power to you. He said, go and preach in my name. And in chapter 2, Peter came up. He said, this is what he said of the prophets. Quoting the book of Joel chapter 2. That in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon your, all flesh. He said, your sons and daughters. <laughs> He said, your young men and your old men. He said, even your maiden shall. This is the days of his power. When the power of God fall upon you, you become an extraordinary man. Listen very carefully. You may be ordinary, but when the power comes, he put an extra. 
to anybody that dare talks to you is messing with power. Sir, you may see power and you may not recognize. If there is a naked wire here that carry power, you may play with it, you may not know. But please don't meddle with it. When you touch that power, he said, kiss thy son, lest he be hungry. But do you know that there are levels of power? The more you crave for, the more you get. Do you understand? We have one that I'm using. Even though you don't see it. For the fact that you don't feel it does not mean that it's not there. Please don't miss out of this conference. You are going to be turned to a, 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 a new man. When the power came upon Saul, the Bible says it turned him to a new man. He began to prophesy naked all the day. And people began to say, is Saul also among the prophet? That is the power. When the power of God came upon Joseph, he became another man. Praise the Lord. In other words, when you, when you have contact with the power, your life is never remained the same. When Peter that ran from a maiden, are you also one of them? Uh, Wallahi talai, I don't know him. <laughs> I've never seen him before. But he came boldly. 3,000 men give their life to Christ. That is the power. I declare over your life tonight. As I drop the microphone, I can't go beyond this. I, I, I can't go beyond this. I declare over your life tonight. You see, there are some certain things you need to begin to exhibit in your life and in your home that people in your house need to know that you just contacted the power of God. Let's, let, 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 let me shock you. When I was growing up as a young believer, somebody came to church and he said, he said if you lay hand on the sick, the sick will recover. Listen, I, 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 I caught that. And for long, our television wasn't working. Well, most of us may not be born in that time. When we use national, black and white television. And when you tune it, it will make ka, 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 ka. Before five o'clock, it will be making shh. It's not showing anything. Shh. But when it's six or five o'clock, you hear a sound. Gang, 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 gang. That television was sick. When I heard the testimony, I went to my house. I said, I went to, under the bed. I dusted, I called my younger sister, dust this thing for me. He's sick. It's been a while that we watch television in our house. And I brought it out and I lay hand on this television. And I told my younger sister to plug it. The television that never worked for months, the thing came back to life. From that point, my father started calling me a pastor. You need to begin to carry and exercise the power. Listen, it's there in you. Sometimes we are afraid that if it doesn't work, if it works, you understand? Ah. I read a book one time ago. He said, I like, he said, I, 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 I don't like. He said, some people see things as they are and say, why? He said, I love things, seeing things as they ought to be and say, why not? Why not? That when it's not working, when it, got, when it get to me, it must work. Hello? When you have this mentality, things, I told her, bring the fan. I lay hands on the fan again. The fan that never worked for a long time. And then she plugged the fan. And the fan started. And the thing started working. And from that point, they started looking at me with a strange eye. Listen, you carry power. Can you look at your hand? I say, I carry power. I am loaded. I am loaded. I am not ordinary. 
excuse me, men may look at you and look at you as an ordinary, but you are not ordinary. You may be a slave girl like Esther. When the power of the Most High come upon you, a queen is coming out of you. When God look at Paul, ah, Paul killing the Christians, ah, and he's looking at a mighty preacher in him. Listen, men may have condemned you, but this thing I want to tell you tonight, God has a plan for your life. That is a power that is coming upon you in this program. And you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Christ. Hell is in trouble. Hell is in trouble. I say hell is in trouble. Why? Because you came. Because you came. Listen. I dropped the microphone. I dropped the microphone. Listen. If devil had known that you will hear this message. He will have killed you before you were born. But you made it. You made it. Therefore, we are going to set hell on fire. Our generation is going to move the gospel to the next level. In the name of Jesus. Christ. We will not fail our generation. You will not fail your generation. In the name of Jesus. Christ. If you decide to be a doctor, you will be a doctor with anointing. In the name of Jesus. If you are an engineer, you will be an engineer with an anointing. When people see you, they will see the power and the glory of God upon your life. And that is what he's going to say. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Come on, pray in tongues, 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 pray in tongues. Ah, Babu says, Come on, come on, come on, don't keep quiet. Don't look around now. Concentrate. Draw, 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 draw from heaven. Draw from heaven. Activate, activate that power in your life. Branderabo Soprahata. Get ready to the bus, so proper, 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 so